under basic conditions, the hemiacetyl product is the only product that is actually formed. The acetyl product is not observed. We want to answer why. And the way we're going to answer this question is by looking at the reaction mechanism of hemiacetyl formation under basic conditions. So under basic conditions simply means we don't have any acid in our solution. We begin with our alkoxide ion. So let's suppose we have some arbitrary alkoxide. So this is our alkoxide. And this oxygen basically has a negative charge. So the alkoxide is essentially our conjugate base to our alcohol molecule. So this is the alkoxide. We also have our carbonyl group. So let's draw the carbonyl molecule. So this is our carbonyl group and let's label this group as R1 and this group as R2. So basically in the first step we have the nucleophilic addition. So these two electrons basically attack this carbon displacing this pi bond and placing the pi bond onto this oxygen here. So we form our intermediate on which we have the negative charge placed onto that oxygen. So we have our alkoxide group that is now attached to this carbon via this oxygen carbon bond. We have the group R1, the group R2, and we also have this oxygen which now bears our negative charge. Now in the final step of the hemiacetyl formation we have this oxygen reacts with let's say an alcohol molecule that is present inside our solution and this oxygen grabs this, uh, this HOA reforming that base that we begin with our alkoxide. So we have our alkoxide which has our negative charge. So we take this away from this. This goes on to here, forms our alkoxide. And of course, we form our hemiacetyl product, which looks like this. We have the R1, the R2 group attached to our carbon, and we have the oxygen, which is now protonated. So this is our hemiacetyl product. This is our alkoxide base because we are under basic conditions. And notice that we begin with the alkoxide base and we are left with this alkoxide base. Now, the question that we want to answer is why cannot we go from the hemiacetyl to our acetyl, where the acetyl looks something like this? So we have our. Um, alkoxide group, we have the C, we have the R1, we have the R2, and this is this hydroxide is replaced with yet another one of these alkoxides. So why doesn't this actually take place? Now let's examine what this alkoxide can actually do. So notice we do not have any spare H's because this is not an acidic condition. And since we don't have any acids to actually donate the H and protonate this oxygen, this is not a very good leaving group. And that basically means that this cannot act as a nucleophile attacking this carbon displacing this. This reaction cannot take place because the hydroxide is not a good enough of a leaving group. This will not detach itself and this will not leave and so we cannot actually form this product because this bond is relatively strong. It's too strong and too stable to actually break off. And so this reaction cannot actually take place and we cannot form our acetyl product which is this because we are under basic conditions. Under basic conditions we simply do not have our H atom to protonate this hydroxide to transform it into a good leaving group. 
So, once again, under basic conditions, we only form the hemiacetal and we do not form the acetal. But under acidic conditions, as discussed in the previous lecture, we can actually begin with our carbonyl molecule and we can go all the way to our acetal, where this is our acetal compound.